Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Currently ranked 12 in the world. I think I've played this guy recently. Yeah, we played a few times. Green. Um, so, he's going for roads. There's not much ore, so a port is going to be important here. Not a lot of sheep either, really. Um, actually, I, I think the... The 693 is pretty nice to get the brick and the ore together. There's 694 as well. It's just a little lower on production, and it doesn't have that 3 for 1, so you're pretty much just stuck with the wheat port. And then you leave the 692, potentially. I don't know if anyone takes the 692. Yeah, I like this 693 a lot, because... We end up getting stuck with like the 8510, it works really nicely. It pairs nicely with, I don't know if we get the 8510. Yeah, there's, and if we end up on more brick, we do want a lot of wood here. So, yeah, I think 693. I guess like 8510 is pretty good too. This 8 probably going to be a big block target though. I kind of like just being alone down here at the bottom. So blue is currently two global, which is fantastic, and three global last season. Wow. He's just going full wheat. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> I'm not colorblind. For some reason, I thought that was the same player picking. Um, okay, yeah, I saw this. I just don't know how good this is. So, yeah, he can't really take the 843. So, we have the 843 as an option. The 843 is sheepless. And I think blue takes the 10 3 11 here. I don't think we can leave the 8 4 3 for blue though. It's really just leaving blue too much here, I think. We could take the 8 4 3. If we're going to city up the 8 4 3 to double up the wheat. I guess we kind of have to. It's not amazing, but I do like that we have the most ore by far. I guess we'll just point to the coast. We could also city up the 693. Nah, that's a good start. Eight. Uh, wheat non-block. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I trust blue to give this here. And I don't really want to non-block blue. Yeah, orange doesn't have it. Oh, we got it. How fortunate is that? Yeah, I guess. Do we want to double the wheat, which gets blocked a lot, or the brick? I think the brick, we want. We need to get a road settle now after this. We need a lot of road settles. I think we need more brick than wheat in this game. That 4-3 would be a nice little pickup if we could snag it. Or if we could just run all the way to the 8 wheat, 3 for 1. Alright, let's just go to the 3 for 1 that's in front of us first. Is this a city?
Damn it, he plucked it. Okay. Um, do we ever try to run over to the 4 3? We have no chance of settling this turn without a sheep and a wheat, so. I think let's. That 4 3 is a big spot to get. Alright, let's go for it. And we can potentially just plow all the way to the 8 wheat here if we can roll another 6 here. Which really gives us space for road. Then we have like the, the wheat port as an option, the 810 potentially. Do we give green the wood here to drop this road? I, I don't think so because uh, I guess if we give him the brick, we can't really take it from him anyways. Yeah, let's just give him the brick. We'd need a nine. Yeah, okay, we can still take it with a nine. If we had given him the wood, he would have just dropped it, the road anyways, so we couldn't take that spot from him. Well, we got the nine, but we got blocked. Um, well, let's see if we can get this through with orange. Damn, nothing, huh? I guess we'll hold for this settle with an eight. Oh, we're getting full plowed here. I wonder if we ever supposed to drop that road to secure it. I think with the nine blocked, it doesn't make sense, but I guess if we know we're gonna get plowed. He, I think he rolled a five, didn't he? Yeah, he rolled that five he needed. He, I think he only had one one wooden hand before that. All right, I think we can, let's test to see, I think blue should honor this one. It's probably time to start popping without another great expansion spot. The brick port's kind of nice, but about it. I guess doubling that wheat's nice as well. Let's port this for a... Let's see if we can't trade for a sheep here. Alright, I'll do this with green. And do we want to double the wheat or do we want the brick port? I think the brick port. That eight wheat gets blocked a lot. I also did it with green. I, I, I didn't say it, but I, I saw he was at like nine cards. So I was like, he's more, 
He might just seven out and dump this anyways, so. I still think blue's just stronger. He has a touch of ore. He's already settled a port. He has the side by side. It's hard to buy devs and everyone needs to city, so I think we just, we can potentially grab the brick port before popping, but I would really like to start popping. Keep that, keep our spots open. We, the nice thing about our setup is we point it towards the coast and even with the plow, we have like four subtle expansions, right? So we can, Settle three more times to get to seven points. Army for nine. That's a big seven out for him and green to both drop. And it gets it off the eight and he probably gets a brick. Damn, that might be a city. Yeah. Let's just em empty our hand here. Start the dev train going and just hammer blue on that. Porting for an ore does seem pretty wasteful though. I suppose it could be a while before we roll one. Yeah, let's just pour. We could make a big mono here or big dev. That's fine. Now we can try to get army and settle twice or settle twice and sneak road. We just don't have the space for road really. Three, take the sixes. But blue is in a nice spot here. He's got road fairly uncontested. I think he has wooden hand still. Or he might, no, he doesn't have any more wood. What did he do on his last turn? Oh yeah, he used it for a settle. Come on, let's get a three or a nine or a six. Do we really want to port all those roads just for a dev? Or we could just drop a road for another settle. But the settles are pretty useless. We could port these. Yeah, let's port. We could end here and hope we survive. But dumping the wheat in the brick is like pretty bad. Now nah, let's just do the whole thing. That's fine, I guess. The year of plenty for us just delays. It just turns into more devs in the future. I don't really mind dropping the city at this point, especially with being a night behind from orange and him potentially getting fed pops. Yeah, I mean, if he's trying to trade for sheep here, if he pops here, we can just drop our city rather than trying to chase army from behind. Just drop the city and either build a 10 or sneak road. Dude, 
Do we ever port the wood for a sheep here? I don't think so. I think we're very close to winning this game by taking road and settling. Or taking road and cityying. We need an eight or a nine. If we get an eight and we can't take road, we can still just drop another city and then just go for two settles. But yeah, there's no reason to be trying to fight army at this point. Someone gonna rip all the wood or the ore from us? Come on, eight or nine here. I guess eight. I don't really see the sense in doing this. I guess with this trade we could plow orange. That's got to be game, right? Three, r yeah. Pretty good dice, I'm sure. Six, nine, three, eight, four, three. Well, the fives were heavy. The threes weren't that heavy, actually. We hit two like back to back towards the end of that and we hit one on the first turn, which was big to get that first city. Um, and then the six, nine, eight, four. The sixes and the eights were whatever. I mean, the, they're sixes and eights. They're supposed to roll a lot. The nines were heavy. Those that, yeah, the brick was heavy. The fours were he pretty good for fours. Um, but nothing crazy on the dice. Let's see. Resources lost by getting robbed. And it's not like I rolled all the sevens. I rolled like probably like three of them or four of them. So, yeah, I mean, I think the early city was big. And then um, just I think the biggest thing was robbing blue every time, right? Um, recognizing that he had the strong, much stronger setup than green. And, uh, yeah, robbing Blue. Because Blue was on... Uh, he was only on seven points, but he was pushing army pretty hard, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, he was on seven with Road. He had no VPs in hand, which means he had Knights, probably. Um, or, or worse, like a Mono. So he was pushing a double play there. Uh, we had a small window there. But, yeah. Uh, let's see where we're at. Back up to eight. He's still at two, but uh, good game.